good uh, afternoon. Today I will teach you about uh, carrying the Ruach, the Holy Spirit, in a correct way in our life. Our Father is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Amen. There is something that's going to happen in you now when I speak to you. This is like the ark which been taken on a cart in Kiryat Yarim, which was not taken in the first time in the proper way. And it's called the Uzzah, was stuck. Uh, in this case, when they brought back the ark from Philistia, from the Philistine. I'd like to say one thing now. Because of disobedience, even in the mountain of Samuel the prophet, because of the disobedience of Saul and his as a, a family, um, they did not obey Samuel. The voice of Samuel is very, very connected here. The voice of that prophet uh, into the matter of the Ark of the Covenant and he was the leader, he was the judge, he was the last judge that then they was anointed kings. So this is the way that it, they was uh, bringing back from Philistia the Ark of the Covenant back. We are today in Kiryat Yarim, the place uh, of uh, the Peretz Uzzah, uh, the place that Uzzah was stuck in. So, we are a holy vessel to God. Today, we are the Ark of the Covenant. We are carrying the Holy Spirit inside us. The Ruach HaKodesh is inside us now. We are carrying the presence of God. The Holy Spirit of God is inside us. So, if you thinking that there is any way other than uh, 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 receiving uh, the truth that is in God, his Messiah in Yeshua. If you're thinking that there is an other way uh, to receive the presence and the glory of God inside you, you are very, very uh, wrong. So I will say right now, uh, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will be glad and uh, be joyful and glad in it. And from Kiryat Yarim, I said to us now, what happened with this Palestine? What they up to? Why they 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 uh, caused the death of Saul and Jonathan and the Gilboa Mountain? And why um, the Ark of the Covenant being taken away from Israel? All these for disobedient situation. I believe that is a time to bring back the presence of the Holy Spirit worldwide in you. But before that, you need to receive the Lord Yeshua as your Savior. Uh, believe that He died and rose from the dead for you. And then invite the Holy Spirit to come to live inside your ark, inside your body. It said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of water. So, uh, the ark of the covenant, which was contained, the Holy Spirit. And there will be other things that I will talk to you about that. So, I suggest right now, that you really believe and uh, and uh, live in the presence of God and receive His Ruach and uh, receive His uh, anointing. And because we need it right now in Israel, we need it right now in Israel, and uh, the angels, uh, the two uh, wing of the angel was over the, the, the ark. So, uh, for everyone right now, if you don't feel the Holy Spirit in you and the baptism of fire, then I pray for you for the baptism of fire right now. Um, there is a few people that you feel like you're living in darkness, in the shadow. You've been involved in illicit type of life which not proper in order to carry the Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God, of the Lord God. He said, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord God Almighty. Heaven and earth cannot contain your glory. So I'm saying here to you today that 
everyone that backslide, everyone that have problem, everyone that drift away from the community, from the body of the Lord, I will call you back right now and I bless you with the sweet, wonderful, honey type of the Holy Spirit and the love from Jerusalem and Kiryat Yarim. Things are going to change. There is a revolution in the Spirit which you will start to understand the Holy Spirit. God said, I go to the Father and I send you another one, Alos Paracletos, which he will be like Christ, but he live in you. Everything that Christ have did, everything that Yeshua did, it's in you right now. So I said to you right now uh, that we are praying for this place. This place is full of um, Orthodox Jews everywhere. We're praying right now for the salvation of all this place, of all the people that are living here. Salvation, that they will know the truth, that they will accept the truth, that they will live in the truth, and they will get saved. Also receive the Holy Spirit. So Father God, we call upon your power and your angels to save every Jew that living in this place. Even the Arab that living on the bottom, in Mabugush, everywhere. We call upon you to save mankind, men, women, children in this place. And we also, in the name of Yeshua, we're saying right now that blessing of God, the blessing of God, the blessing of the Ruach shall be rested upon this place and continuation of the presence of God in this place. A continuation of the presence of God in this place. As for you, let the power of God come on you right now, worldwide. The fire of the Holy Spirit. Here, hold it here. The fire of the Holy Spirit shall come upon you and fill you up to the fullness and heal you heal you, restore you, and deliver you today. Deliver you today from any activity that is not the Holy Spirit. There are many other spirits. There are different spirits. There are unclean spirit. There are all kinds of spirit of disobedient spirit. And I pray deliverance over you today. I pray deliverance in the name of Yeshua that every person, millions of people, will be delivered right now. When I'm standing by that ark, by the Lord God, Yeshua is our ark now. He is our ark of today. And I pray today. He said, it's no temple made by him, but you are the living temple of God. Every one of you that come to believe in God. God, not a respectful person. So he called all of you to come now. So let the power and the fire and the presence of God fall on all the congregation and all those that want to obey God and repent. We need to repent if we offended the Holy Spirit by activity. We need to repent if we was, didn't, was not sensitive the way that we are living today. We also need to repent if we didn't have a faith, if we did not trust God, uh, if we don't usher and bless and welcome the Holy Spirit in our life. Those who rejected Christ, I don't care who you are, you Buddhist, you Muslim, you Jewish, whatever you are, or different people just like that, if you have rejected, the living God, if you rejected his son, if you rejected Yeshua Mashiach, the son of the living God, he said, uh, uh, no one can come to the Father. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. So I'm inviting you to live in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Let revival, let God pour it like river over you and over your family. Be healed today in Yeshua's name. Be healed and be restored in Yeshua's name. Every disease, I cast those diseases by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I pray that God will bless you. God is love. God is love. God is love and light. And he wants to come to dwell in you. God wants to send his love like the dove. The dove. Like the dove of love. The dove of love. To live inside you with his light. Please welcome him today. Please call upon him. Please written in a book of life in heaven. Be written there. Do not perish. This is last hour, the Lord coming soon. From Kiryat Yarim, I'm telling you, God bless you. Be blessed today. Be blessed today. Be blessed from Kiryat Yarim in Jerusalem, in the area of Jerusalem. God bless you in Israel. Be blessed.